Hi everyone, my name is Lizzie and today we'll be talking about pH and what is it, why is it important, and tips and tricks. Summer's in full bloom, we're in July, and pools are getting fixed. And as I was fixing my pool, I was wondering why is it brown? And the solution was to decrease the pH. This also applies to alcohol, so sometimes you have to increase the pH, decrease the pH. So I started wondering why is pH so important for liquids? But first, let's talk about what is pH. So pH stands for potential hydrogen. And it tells you how much hydrogen molecules are in liquids. So hydrogen is H+, so it's positive ions. So pH measures the acidity and the alkalinity of a solution. Fun fact that although pH is relevant in terms of swimming pools, in terms of gardening, in terms of the body, it was actually discovered in 1893 by a Danish chemist because he was studying beer making. So what do you know? And he discovered that the pH scale ranged from 0 to 14 and from 0 up to 7 is acid and the measure in between 7 and 14 represents alkalinity and 7 is neutral. So it's the base. It could be water. So the body's pH level to function optimally is at 7.4 and it regulates the pH by ingesting different food and different drinks. Does anyone know what the pH of alcohol is? For those that said between 5.2 to 5.5, that's the pH that your wash should have in order for the yeast to perform at its optimal level. However, it's not the alcohol pH. Actually, that was a trick question because different alcohols have different pH. So here's a chart showing how the pH of wine is different from the pH of beer and it's different from the pH of vodka, etc. So we have different alcohols that have different pHs and if you add chasers like soda inside your mix, this will influence the pH level. So why is pH important? For health reasons, most diseases, illnesses, and bad bacteria thrive in an acidic environment when the body is acidic. So just a reminder that the optimal pH for the body is 7.4, so when it goes below 7, then there are more chances of bacteria in the body. And this is because in order for the body to regulate, so in order for the body to increase the pH from let's say a 3, which is acidic, to higher and reach 7.4, it needs to use other organs, bones, and tissue to get rid of these acidic elements. And they do so by borrowing crucial minerals. So why is it important in solution? I have a video on regulating pH when it comes to pitching yeast. So in order to make my solution more acidic, I had to add lemon. In order to make it more basic, I had to add baking soda. And this is important because pH controls the availability of nutrients, biological functions, microbial activity, and behavior of chemicals. Microbial activity and behavior of chemicals are linked to adding yeast to washes. So it's very important in the alcohol making process you cannot skip this step. However, you do not necessarily have to verify your pH. If your yeast eats the sugar and your fermentation is starting and it's finishing, then the pH is good. However, a too low or too high pH can be a reason for which your wash does not start fermenting. For the tips and tricks part, it's only important to look at pH at the beginning when you pitch the yeast inside your jar. This is because fermentation is fastest at the beginning and the longer you leave your wash inside the jar, the slower the fermentation gets. To demonstrate this, you'll see that at the beginning your bubbles are bubbling quickly and your airlock is moving a lot. And as the days go by, you'll see this movement decrease slowly, there'll be less bubbles inside your wash. Second aspect is that when adjusting pH, it's best to do so gradually until you reach 5.2. One of my washes, I was adding baking soda and I just added too much that the baking soda taste became overwhelming and I couldn't fix the wash anymore. I tried to add it in oak chips, tried to see if the oak chips can um, dissipate the taste a little. However, it still tasted bad after being three weeks soaked in oak chips. Therefore, I just threw the wash away. 
Speaking of baking soda, there are other items that affect the pH of a wash. So I tried looking at this and to increase the pH, outside of baking soda, I found calcium chloride and potassium bicarbonate. But I'm looking for household items, maybe like fruits, like bananas, for example, it has potassium, potassium being K plus. I'm wondering if uh, adding banana to your wash increases the pH. So if you've ever tried to put banana inside your wash, let me know in the comments below if this increased your pH. If not, maybe I can try and test it out. Maybe mash some bananas, put it in, or maybe wash the banana peel and dip it inside the fermenting jar. As for items that decrease the pH, so this includes lemon, so since it's acid, lemon decreases the pH. I just found out recently that grains too. So grains, when you mash grains, it has resident acid available. And this will slightly decrease the pH of your wash. So maybe it's not to a significant point, but it's just something to note. And there are other chemicals that you can add inside your wash to decrease the pH. One thing to know is that if you've reached 5.2 and you just want to stabilize it, you can also add oyster shells to, to make the pH stay at 5.2. That way it won't fluctuate too much because as fermentation goes by, your pH is set to change. It will not stay at 5.2. Another tip would also be to be careful when adding fruits because fruits can affect the pH of your wash. So when you're flavoring, you can do it with uh, extracts. Extracts do not affect the pH of your wash. However, if you'd like to add, let's say, lemon or banana, this can... Uh, this can affect your fermentation process. And when you put a physical fruit in, it's gonna give you a tone, a flavoring, so the flavor won't be upfront. So if you really want, like let's say, apple flavor or stronger flavor, it's best to add the extracts in. Actually, do we know how to measure pH? This is why I brought here a digital meter. This is about 20, about $20 about 15 to 20 dollars depending on inflation i bought this before inflation got high you can use ph strips you can also buy a ph stabilizer so you just put this inside the jar and the ph will automatically go to 5.2 so your wash is uh, ready for fermentation for the yeast to eat the sugar and you won't need to adjust it by adding a little bit of this a little bit of that to stabilize your ph manually well, since we have the digital pH meter here, I have the box with the instructions. Let's open it up. And I've used some of these packets. So there is pH, it says 6.86. So it's already opened by me. I didn't receive it opened by someone else. We have the pH of 9.18 and the pH of 4.00 and so we have here the instructions pH meter that ranges from 0 to 14. It says to find three containers and in one container you put the solution of 6.86 6.86 and this has to be 250 milliliters of distilled water so first container you put this pH 6.86 Second container, you put the 4.00 pH. And the third container of 250 milliliters of distilled water, you can put in the 9.18 pH. And you stir gently and you have to calibrate it until it reached a certain pH. So that's the first step. And then you can measure pH of liquids. If you found this video valuable, share it with a friend. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.